guys like my shirt, I'm living my 80s um, white trash fantasy. It's amazing. I love it. Four people in. Oh my gosh. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Lorraine. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Oh, okay. So I got a couple things from the Goodwill. We're going to do a quick haul. It's a surprise haul. Um, we're going to wait for a few more people. If you haven't liked my YouTube channel, can you please do so? We're at 61 people. Look at us. Uh, let's see. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it and love your support. Um, okay. Are you recording? Let's do this. Okay, so I'm gonna do my little spiel. Okay, so this is Thrifting with Tony. Um, I'm gonna show you a couple things um, that I picked up this week from Goodwill, majority of things. And I'm gonna unbox it. Some of the stuff is gonna go to my store. Some of the stuff I'm gonna keep. Um, but we're just here to have a good time. Chit chat a bit. I'm gonna drink my tea, show you some of the stuff I picked up. And if you wanna bring up a few things that's going on in your life, bring it up and we'll talk about it. Because this week, let me tell you, I was on a rare one. <laughs> because I was that bitch to someone. I was that bitch to three someone's. Four! I had to cuss out four people this week. And it was not good. And I haven't gotten that deep on a person in years. Like, in years, years. But, you know, if people just do their job, we can get it going. So, but anyways, I'm going to start this haul. We'll start from the top. I have the box here. If you have any questions, let me know. We'll get through it. So, we'll start with this first, right? All right. Our zone. So, oh yes, this was an art glass. It had I don't didn't have any markings on it, but I thought it was really pretty. It's blue, light blue. I know a lot of people like that little candy dish. I haven't even taken the thing off yet. But it has a really pattern, pretty pattern on it. Do you guys see that? It's really gorgeous. I love it. I'm gonna put this one in my store. Let's see, I got it for, it's, so it was $3.49, but it was 50% off. So whatever the hell that is, like a dollar, a dollar stuff. But I love it. So I'm gonna put that in my store. I'm starting to get into glass where um, why what? Why, 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 why? What's going on? See, I'm like a, why? Well, let me go. Hi, thank you. Um, so I think it's really gorgeous. Even just this alone would be pretty on there. And then you have a little <coughs> things that go on top of it. It's cute. So that will be going in my store. Hi, thank you for showing us, Samantha. Thanks for the support. It's gonna be quick. It's just a quick haul. All right, so now we have this. I don't know what it is, but it's heavy. Okay, this is, so remember, I collect paperweights, so this is a jellyfish. Oh, let's see how much I get it for. 99 cents plus 20% off. You can see in the glass, the jellyfish with the controlled bubbles. It is so dope. And only for 99 cents, so I'm definitely gonna keep that. I love glass and I love this type of form of um, paperweight. It's very interesting. So that's definitely a keeper for me. All right, what else do we have? I think we have a lot of, oh. So <clears throat> this is the boy. We'll put him to the side till the girl comes out, then I'll show him off together. Hi, Anastasia, thank you. Thanks for showing up. I love him. You know, all these boys that, what are these colonials for kids? Yeah. Colonials, they all kind of look gay to me. Look at, <laughs> they do. Even, you know what, and it's not just me because even my kids are like, that's a girl, it's wearing makeup. They're very pretty boys. All of them. We'll stick him here. Let's see, what is this? Okay, so this, I know what this is. So this, hi, my father-in-law's in here so I need to put my good face on. <laughs> Can't say too many bad words today, y'all. But you know. So this is for me, I think. I might, you know, I might do like a catch and release. But this I thought was so cool. So it's a vase and it has different types of colors. And I think if I put it in my office, the colors when the sun shines in, it's just gonna make it look really pretty. I just thought it was really, really pretty. I got 20% off of it. 
It was originally four dollars, but I just thought it was so pretty. If not, I'm sure someone else would like it. What do you think of it, Fergus? Looks festive. It does. I like it. So we'll put that over here. Oh my gosh, seven people. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Let's see, what is this? Okay, so this is another paperweight, but this is just a little simple one um, with the Eiffel Tower on it. That might fit nice in your boho room. Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. Um, I would put it in my boho room. So I have like two boxes and artwork that I'm saving to put in my boho room. And um, that's what I was thinking I was going to put that in. But we need to paint that. So here's another paperweight. Um, so what I'm doing, I'm collecting the paperweights. And once I get sick of collecting them, then I'm just going to sell them all. Minus a few. But this one I figured out, oh, 99 cents. It's okay, I'll just put it in the stash. And then when I'm ready to list them all, it, some of you will love it. All right. Oh, I think this is the female. Are you ready? So Ta-da! So here's the girl, and here's the boy. There's no markings on them, but it's they're very detailed. I like the boy's coat. He has little flowers on it, and then his little cuffs are really nice. And then his little what is it? It's the ascot. What is that? An ascot where it goes like this? I don't know. Does anyone know if this is an ascot? <laughs> But I, it's very detailed and pretty. And there's even like applied flowers at the bottom. So whatever company made these put a lot of time into them and a lot of detail. So I probably had to do some research on them. Oh, my friend Josh. Hi! Oh my gosh, we got to play PlayStation. And I'm so jealous you got a PlayStation 5. I still haven't got my hands on it yet. But I'm still trying to get that PlayStation 5. But these are really cute colonials that I picked up. And they were 20% off, I think. So less than five bucks so maybe if we can trade them in for a ps5 oh yeah anybody want to trade these for a ps5 <laughs> just call me <laughs> i need that ps5 all right let's see this one from goodwill let's take a look. so i don't know if this works but i figured like it was so cheap i'd give it a shot like if i put it on ebay or something oh it's upside down it's a fish i think it's a trout it looks like a trout, don't quote me on that, but it was vintage, I like the wood grain on the side. And I don't know who told me, someone told me that real clocks are coming back in style because people are forgetting how to tell time. So they're buying them uh, more and more. So for, I think I got it 50% off. So for two bucks, I'll give it a shot. Put that right up in my store. Oh, oh my gosh, thank you everybody for coming in. I'm so happy. It's always like, oh, is anyone gonna come in and can see what I'm doing? But every time I've come on, you, I've had someone come on, so thank you. You don't leave me alone. <laughs> Talking to myself. So this one is pretty cool too. It's an Asian figure. So I've seen this one before online. It actually it, it comes in a set. Unfortunately, this one didn't um, have the man with him, but. I'm gonna list her alone, but continue to look for the man, and then I can list, by the way, the tie is called a Jabot. Thank you! See? We always learn something. Yes, thank you! A new wrinkle in my brain. Thank you. I'm gonna love that comment. We needed to know that. So this one I've seen online um, with a man, and I haven't seen him, but if I find him, I can put him together and make a lot more off of her. But I thought it was really cute. I love the detail on her with the gold. You can really see in the back. And even in her like in her hair, there's they painted it where to, to show shadowing. They did a really good job on this piece and I, I thought somebody would enjoy it as much as I did. But and I love the green. I wish No. Okay. So you look like me again trying to find reasons to keep her. Hoarder. I know, I know, I know. But everything's got a place. All right, so this is a box, a bag I got for $6.49 minus 20%, and it's a bag of plushes. Let's see, it's all Eeyore. So I know everything I buy, like Disney and um, especially Winnie the Pooh, it always sells. Like Winnie the Pooh is like 
a big seller. So we have Christmas, Halloween, we have I don't know, regular, well, I guess it's fall. And then we have, what is this one? Sugar. What is he wearing? I guess it's another Halloween one or a fairy one. So I, well, that's pity. But so we can put all these, I put these in a lot together and then um, sell those. Not for sure for how much yet, but we'll figure it out. So this was pretty cool. This is a bank. It's a vintage bank from Japan and it has this little thing here. But I thought it was cool. I've seen them all over the place, like at Chinese stores when, yeah, they, when they're moving. I guess it's like to bring in money or I don't know. That's yeah, the pub. Yeah, yeah bring that money this way. <laughs> Whatever it is. I still have my son's Winnie the Pooh crew bedding in the bag. See, people save that stuff. Like Winnie the Pooh is really hot. Like if you have that, it will never go out of style. The Halloween one looks like a cute little witch. Yes, he does. <laughs> And he's so adorable. Do you see that? And what I like is that they still have the original tags. And I have a couple of these up for, what, the Peanuts gang? But we'll see how this one, I think this one's gonna go before the Peanuts. Peanuts, like, they buy, but not as much as Winnie the Pooh. But I love this cat. Um, the detail is really cute. I love his little whiskers, because it kind of looks like a mustache that goes all the way up to his eyebrows. And then I just like the little, it's just really well done. I think everything's hand painted and it's vintage Japan. So somebody's gonna love this. I might even love it to keep it. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Eeyore is so cute. See? I love Eeyore. Even though he's depressed all the time, he's a cool guy. I always was, I liked Tigger because he was so active all the time. That was like my number one. Oh. All right. So this one, back to my giraffes. This one I thought was really cool. Um, this one's a little bit more modern than I would like, typically like to buy, but you know, giraffes being my favorite animal, I had to give it a go. Um, I didn't even open it, so there could be something inside. Wouldn't that be nice if I opened it in front of y'all and there was like a million dollars? Empty. <laughs> Not today, y'all. Not today. But, um... I thought it was really cool. Trinket dishes, people love trinket dishes. So, that's a cool little um, giraffe that I love. And it's, the detail in it's really nice too. So it's not just like flat. Gives depth, I like it. I think it looked good like on a little council table or something. We're almost halfway done. But I have another surprise for y'all. It's another trinket dish. This one is from Mexico. This is half of it. And this is the other half. So I see these all the time. <clears throat> I usually find them a bit smaller than this. And we also have one in the back. It's a trinket dish. And it's a turtle, hand painted. There's the flowers on the back. And you just take the little lid off like this. You have this little space, you can hide your key or whatever in. But I usually see them a little bit smaller. This is the biggest I've seen them. Um, but last time I listed it, it was like half this size and it lasted like two weeks and someone picked it up. Turtles, people love turtles. And people love that Spanish style as well. So I always pick up a Talavera or anything from Mexico. Um, people love it. But I typically, I send those to New Mexico and Texas, like over there, they're always buying that stuff, so I sell it. All right, what else do we have? Oh yes, can't wait to show you. So this is the head. Well, I'll get it to you guys once I find it. Let's see, oh, here it is. So I don't know if this is a cookie jar or, we'll just say a cookie jar, cause it's that big. But here's the ball tea, and it's from Odegary. We talked about them before a long time ago, not a long time ago, my first couple videos. Um, I do like their mugs, they, people collect their type of mugs, but I thought this was just really cute. That's it. So it's just a duck, 
and it's a little duck cookie jar. Oh, Gary. Oh, yeah, it's a cookie jar, I would say, or a biscuit jar. It's really cute. It's like sitting, has a lot of detail. What, what is this? A cat? What are they called? Um, what are they called? Forget the. Cock, cocktails? Cattails? Cattails. Cat like, yeah, hand painted all over and it has that speckled look that um, Odegary's known for. I think it's adorable and I love the green. Uh, what else? Oh my gosh, I did. I found a green cat. Uh, it's not in this lot, but I'm going to show it to you. I, oh, I can't. I can't bring it out. I'll show it to you next week. That will be my haul because that cat is so cute. Uh, what do we have here? Another glass piece. You know, I'm a sucker for this. Amber style color, yellowish. I might keep it, not sure. <laughs> I just like the design on the inside. And I think it was a dollar, cause it was, yeah, it was a dollar, cause it was blue tags were a dollar. So I was like, yeah, why not? I keep it, I don't, I love it. It's the, it's like cut all the way through. It's beautiful. Like, it's like one of the, when you're looking inside those little, <laughs> Those little telescope things, you just like spinning it. <laughs> it's really pretty. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep this one or hoard and catch and release type thing, but I tend to do that too. <laughs> All right, picture frames. So I don't buy any picture frames from the store anymore. I only buy them from the Goodwill because they're, they're really good. They're really, nobody, you, you, people buy them and they don't use them. So, like this one. This one's totally dope. Like, it's very, like, somebody's gonna like that. It's very, it has cars. It's got a patina. Yeah, it has like a, a patina. What are this, that steampunk look. It's really, like, cute. Somebody's gonna love that. And it's only five bucks. I'm sure they paid a lot more for it at wherever they bought it for. And then, this one I bought for myself. <laughs> Cause it has the little blue. I love the flowers on it. Do you see that? Or maybe it's this way. Yeah, it's this way. So it has the navy blue that I like. And how much did I pay for this? $249. $249, it's brand new. And I got 20% off that, so I didn't even pay $250 for it. Oh, this that I found. I don't know if it's what it is, but it's Mickey Mouse. And I love Mickey Mouse Vintage. So I do have to do some research before I list this, but I thought it was pretty cool and for two for two fifty, I'd take the risk on that too, putting it in my shop. But you can like stand it. But it feels like a looks like an old lithograph or an old It's like one of the classic Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Stuff. It says the best part of life's journey is who you get to share it with. So I thought that was really cute. The frame is Hallmark. No, the frame is yeah, Hallmark Disney. So it's Hallmark Disney. So those are two brands that I pick up often because you want to pick up stuff with brands on them because it's easier to find and people are looking for that. People still want brand names even though they're, they're buying second hand. And this one is for like, I love Southwest style. So I still, I find a lot of it here because I'm here in Arizona, right? So we're close to the border. We're in the Southwest. We do pick up a lot of this type of style. And it's like I said, it's always selling to somewhere. Texas or New Mexico. Those are my heavy hitters when it comes to my Southwest stuff. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have a few more stuff in here. So this <clears throat> is totally cool. It's a handmade ceramic cap. So I find these often and I buy them all the time because I sell them. And I leave, and I like, how many have we had that? I always set them in our living room, like a catch and release. So I list it and I just leave it in our living room so we have like a brand new cat every month or two to, to look at until it sells. I thought this one was really well done. It's really sweet. It's, she's sleeping. She's so cute. Looks so, like a Himalayan. Yeah, it does look like a Himalayan. And is it signed? Yes, it's signed by Lee. So I just thought it was adorable. Someone else will love it too. Thanks for this. Alright. We're getting to the bottom. This is cute. This is a egg with very good detail on it. I and I love it. This might be a catch and release too. 
I don't know. <laughs> it kind of goes with the blue. I don't know. I just love it. It has some age to it. I can tell it's not very new. So, yeah. I just like it. It has that, um, so this is called crazing. This little, where the, where it's so old that it starts to break up like this. So there, there's fake crazing and there's real crazing. This seems to be, no, this is, may not be that old. This doesn't look like real crazy. It looks like it was painted to look old. But I still like it, so I'm gonna keep it. It's Fergus approved. It's Fergus it's approved. Oh, like that's a 10 star if it's Fergus approved. Oh, my cousin's here. Hi, Sasha, thank you for joining. I mean, love that. All right, so we're almost done. We have a few more things. I'm gonna, what is this? Okay, so yeah, you know. So I had that huge cow collection, so I found this cow planter because my cow collection is going off the hook. Like, so I'm just buying everything cow because if someone comes in, they're gonna see all this stuff. And What's my- with his eyes? He's cute, he's bug-eyed. He's, he's telling you to shut the hell up, okay? <laughs> I love him. He, he is kind of cross-eyed. Yeah. But you know what? Cross-eyed cows need love too. So, so I bought him and we're gonna keep him. <laughs> what is this? Okay. All right. We have a few more things. Oh, you know what? Let's look at the art. So I did buy some art. Um, so I found this Norman Rockwell print. I, I know his work is saturated in the market. Hi, Scott. Uh, he's calling you a hoe. What? <laughs> Me a hoe? Scott said ho, ho, ho. Oh, and I was like, oh, he's oh. calling you a hoe. <laughs> so, this is Norman Rockwell. Um, it's a print. Uh, he used to be worth a lot, but then he died and his family like saturated the market with his stuff. So, you can always find his stuff. I wanted to keep it because I do like his style. And so these are a keeper. These will go in my office. I love the Dorman Rock. But which one is this one? This one. I love the fall scene on this one with the dog and the old man. When I was growing up, I loved fall because we had a big backyard with a bunch of trees and we were able to just jump in the leaves all day. But yeah, fall, I would say, is my favorite. Not, 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 not Arizona. Yeah, we don't get fall here. We get hot and cold and then back to hot. So that's what we get. And this other painting I got was a train. Someone handmade this, stitched all this, and I thought someone put that time in there. And there's a market for trains. There's a lot of train collectors. Someone's gonna love it. So I figured for $4.49 minus 20%, I could definitely make some money on this because people are gonna love it. I just sold this train mug, actually. That was a handmade train mug and I bought it for a dollar and I just sold it for 89 89 dollars shit you can't even buy stock that good y'all <laughs> <laughs> all right let's see what else do we have here so this might be California pottery I'm not sure I collect California pottery and this is I can see, well, as you can see behind me, this is California pottery. This is California pottery. I got a lot of California pottery, and I suspect this is California pottery, but if it's not, um, then I'm selling it. <laughs> but if it is, then I'll keep it, because my kids just broke one of my pieces, so I need to replace it. <laughs> it was a sad day. One of my deers that I bought, they were playing with a Nerf ball, right, and they hit it, and it fell, and they were so distraught about it, so I was like, <laughs> I'm in the wrong business. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, like, I find stuff, and you'll be crazy with how much money I make flipping dumb stuff. I bought a Tiffany's mug for a dollar once, and I sold it for 90 bucks. Mm -hmm. I bought in multiple things for a dollar and sold it. I bought a horse for five dollars and brought it home, and I ended up selling it for 250 dollars. I was like, you can find it if you know what you're looking for, or if you get lucky. You can make some money. <laughs> but yes, I love her. I have another dancer um, piece. And what, and what is she? I think I've showed her off before. Is but it the red one? Yeah, it's the one that's on the wall. And she's really cute. I love her so much. All right, let's see. I think I have two more things to show you. 
And that's it for my haul. All right, ooh. all right, what is that? Oh yes, elephants. So I found this, it was 350. And it's a group of elephants. I, and I don't know what it's made of, but Is it I, ivory? No, it's not ivory. They wouldn't sell ivory. <laughs> but maybe a sandstone? It, does that come from Africa? There's a type of art that I've been listening to um, on podcasts and stuff called sandstone. So this might be what they were talking about. But I thought it was so cool. It is, it reminds me of, what's that Disney movie? Um, with Boogaloo, The Jungle, The Jungle Book. And then this is the last one. This is an ashtray that I found that was, I thought was kind of cool. I don't know what a ready kilowatt is, but um, I'm gonna do some research. Bone? Maybe. It might be bone. I have to do, like I said, I'm gonna look into it. I haven't done a research on any of these pieces yet. These were just straight from the Goodwill to home. So I'm just doing a quick haul. You hear my children over there? <laughs> they're, they're like, oh, it's time, it's time. They actually did really well. Like, what are we in? Almost 30 minutes in. I'm proud of them. So, but this is my last thing I'm gonna show. Uh, so out of my haul, I think my favorite is the cat. And uh, of course this piece. So I'm gonna do some more research into these and we'll see what they come out as. I don't know if we're gonna do another video tomorrow. We might. I have, oh, the surprise thing, I'm buying a collection tomorrow, hopefully if it pulls through with over 80 to 90 salt and pepper shaker. So I'm pretty excited because we can do a bunch of hauls on that. Um, let's see what else is going on. Nothing, I feel like. I feel like we're doing so much, but we have got nothing done yet. It's like too much going on, but I appreciate you guys coming in and watching my quick haul. Um, like if you have any suggestions or you want me to do a haul on anything else, just shoot me a message or leave it in the comments. Um, if you can go ahead and just go to my um, YouTube and like and subscribe for me. And I have 61 followers right now. We're trying to get to a thousand, right? <laughs> Oh my god, a thousand. That seems like so far away. Let's try to get to a hundred. We're trying to get to a hundred. <laughs> so I want to say thank you guys for coming in and sharing this little time with me. I know you guys are busy. I'm going to go ahead and put all this stuff away, close up shop, and I think we're going to have like a movie night with the kids because it's the last, it was the last day of school. So we can go ahead and Ready Kilowatt was a cartoon from an electric company. Interesting. Thank you. This is why I do the hauls because there's always someone that knows more than I do and and they can help me out. But I love it and I get to interact with you guys and it's amazing. But I appreciate it. We're going we're getting to 30 minutes into this and I just want to say that I love you guys and be safe out there and what? Oh yeah, warm mask. <laughs> warm mask. No. Bye. Thank you guys. Love you.